Let us solve question 18 from Goldstein chapter 1. So the question uh, the Lagrangian for a particular physical system can be written as uh, this where a, b, c are arbitrary constant but subject to certain conditions. Okay, what are the two equations of motion that we have to find and examine particularly the two cases when a equal to c equals to 0 and b equals to 0 and c equals to minus a and then we have to uh, conclude what is a physical system described by the given Lagrangian after we have like worked upon those conditions and found the equations of motion and uh, show that using so that the usual Lagrangian for the system is defined by equation 1.56 which we will refer to in a bit is related to L prime by a point transformation okay and what is the physical significance of the condition on the value b square minus ac all right so let us resume with the solution and before that uh, let me write what's given we are given with the Lagrangian L prime equals to M by 2 A x dot square plus 2 B x dot y dot plus C y dot square minus K by 2 A x square plus 2 B x y plus c y square so this is my lagrangian given lagrangian okay now to find equations of motion using euler lagrange equations so according to Euler Lagrange equation dl prime by dq equals to d by dt dl prime by dq dot so this is my Euler Lagrange equation it, it's just the other form on how to write the like the general way of Euler Lagrange equation it's just that we have shifted the dl prime by dq on the other side okay now here q belongs to x comma y as general coordinates all right now first we'll find the uh the equation of motion with respect to x so for x dl prime by dx equals to minus k a x plus b y so we'll just operate this uh, partial differentiation of x and put the value of l prime we get this equation and uh, dl prime by dx dot we get as m a x dot plus b y dot and d by dt del l prime by del x dot we get m a x double dot plus b y double dot all right now we'll put this into equation 2 and we will get minus k a x plus b y equals to m a x double dot plus b y double dot and this becomes my equation 3 all right now we'll go on to do the same procedure for y so for y we get dl prime by dy which is minus k b x plus c y dl prime by dy dot equals to m b x dot plus c y dot and d by dt of del l prime by del y dot 
gives me m bx double dot plus cy double dot all right and we'll also put this is equation 2 and we get our final thing is m bx plus cy equals to m bx double dot plus cy double dot and this is my equation 4 okay and uh, equation 3 <coughs> and 4 are my equations of motion for the Lagrangian all right now uh, once we have found the equations of motion then we'll go on to work with cases so i'm just using some different color for the cases so for case one a equal to c equal to zero i will put this in equation three and four and i get minus kx equals to m x double dot and minus ky equals to m y double dot all right this is my equation 5a and case 2 i have b equals to 0 and c equals to minus a so from that i get uh, this is my kx okay from this i get uh, minus kx equals to mx double dot and minus ky equals to m y double dot this is my 5b okay <clears throat> so from 5a and 5b we can conclude that uh, physical system is harmonic oscillator of or rather say oscillations of particle in two dimensions all right so we have completed a uh, part of the question now we'll move on to the other part so for other part let us so from equation three and four so if we go to different coordinate system with transformations as ax plus by and v goes to bx plus cy okay and then we if you put the value of uh, the above in to the equations of motions that we have got then we have uh, minus ku equals to m v double dot oh sorry m u double dot and minus kv equals to m v double dot so let this be as e my equation 6 so 
from this we can say that to independent but identical simple harmonic oscillators after a prime after a point transformation is made all right and now we'll uh, look up to the last part of the question that asks us to look upon the conditions of b square minus 4 ac not equal to 0 or when that particular condition is violated so that gives me when b square minus ac is not equal to zero violated that means b square minus ac equals to zero which implies b goes to under root ac okay now I'll put that in equation of or rather say in the Lagrangian that gives me m by 2 under root ax dot plus under root cy dot whole square minus ky2 ax dot under root a plus under root cy whole square so that's my equation 7 so this is my a kind of new Lagrangian and uh, we can also see that it has sort of uh, reduced the problem into one dimensional okay or let me say that in a other way that is u v equals to a b b c x y so if b square minus ac equals to 0 then this transformation matrix that we have over here that matrix would be singular because the determinant is 0 so that matrix is singular that's my transformation matrix so if the condition holds then we reduce the Lagrangian by a tra point transformation so that's like the last conclusion so if condition is true that implies point transformation this question is kind of long but it like uh, op opens up uh, various concepts in between so i hope the solution is clear the solution kind of went a little long but that's okay thank you for watching the video